Hello lovely viewers, welcome to Event Tech Studio. Thank you very much for watching my videos online. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you'll be able to install OBS, NDI plugin for OBS, and then NDI runtime. So without wasting much time, let's get to the tools we need to install on our PC. So there are three things that we need to install. First of all, we need to install the NDI runtime, and then we install the OBS software itself. So we can either install the OBS software first or and then followed by the NDI runtime. This is the NDI runtime. So the um this particular software is the um is the package um one that contains the runtime and then other software development kits. So you can go to their website and download it. Part of it is free, part of it is not free. So the runtime works freely. You you don't pay for it. That's the normal runtime on your PC. When you install it on your PC, you don't pay. But there are additional features that if you want to use, that one you need to pay for it. So you have to check every information on your website. All right, so I'm going to leave the link in the description so that you'll be able to download these files if you don't have them or if you don't know how to go about downloading OBS and its plugins. Now, this is the NDI plugin. So the NDI plugin will appear in your OBS software so that you'll be able to add the NDI source to your OBS content, all right, or to your OBS scene, right? So without wasting much time, I'm going to install OBS, but because I've installed it already, I'm not going to install it again. So many at times when people have installed OBS, they need to add a run um they would want to i mean add an ndi source to their scene but they are not able to see the ndi plugin over here among the list of sources that they can add to their scene it is because ndi by um obs by default do not install ndi if you install obs it doesn't come with the NDI plugin, so you need to download it separately and then install it. But first of all, for it to work, for the NDI plugin to work, you need to install the NDI runtime on your PC. Else you are going to get the issue that um, NDI runtime is not installed. You have to install it. So this is what we're going to do. You install your OBS, and as I said, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to install it again. So what I will do is I'm going to close it, and then... The second part is to install the runtime. So this is the runtime that I'm going to install the NDI. Um, I've already installed it, but I just opened it just to show you how the interface will look like when you are when you want to install it. So you accept the license and the terms and the agreements, and then you click on next to install it. So I've already installed this one, but I intentionally left the plugin out because that is the last thing that I'm going to install. All right, so if you have done if you are done installing these two softwares, the third one to install is the plugin. The plugin will sit in your OBS plugins folder. All right. And then we'll be able to allow, um, it will allow you to add NDI sources to your OBS. So what you have to do is that you double click after you have downloaded it just to open and then follow the prompt to install. So you click on next, next. I'm leaving everything to default just to install it. I'm not going to touch any or change the location for the installation. So I'm done once I click on finish. So now let's see if the NDI has been installed in the OBS. All right, so let me close this one. So now when we come to the OBS, we will be able to add our sources. So now when we click on the add sources, we, sh we should be able to see the NDI source. Unlike before, we were not able to see it because the plugin was not installed. Now, we have installed the runtime and then we have installed the, the plugin. All right, so now we are able to see it as part of our sources. Just like we have the v um, video capture card, we have the um, VLC video, that is how we are going to have NDI source. Now, let's see if it is going to work. Let's see if our plugin that we have installed is going to work. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use this um, simple software called Bible Show. So just to demonstrate and output my content or the um, my content or a scripture from Bible Show into 
I mean, OBS. So you can use any software that allows you to output to NDI, either with Easy Worship, either, um, I mean, Pro Presenter, any other software you are using, any other software, any software that supports NDI that you are able to stream to NDI, either media player, some of the media players are able to send signals or output to NDI. So this is just a tutorial. I just want to show you that it is working. So now, So um, what I did is that I have to configure my display. So my display settings is configured to output, not to a window or to a television screen, but to an NDI output. So what this is, what this is going to do is that it will send this signal, I mean this output, to the NDI runtime. So the NDI runtime that I told you to install is going to send the output to the NDI runtime. And then when we come to the plugin over here, once we have added it here, when we come to the sources, we add NDI source. Now, this is what the plugin is going to do. The plugin is going to get any content that has been pushed to NDI runtime. So it is going to receive it as input. All right, so that is the logic behind it. So when we come to sources, the plugin allows you to connect the, the runtime the content that the runtime has received and then we'll push it to the plugin so the plugin will be receiving it as input input source or a source into obs so this one is outputting to the runtime um the ndi runtime ndi runtime holds it and then this one requests for it and then brings it into obs that is the logic behind it so what I will do is that um, I click on OK. So now we can see that it is working over here. So whatever we change here should be able to reflect here. So now I can expand to for you to fit my scene, uh, my canvas or my image in the OBS. So this is how you'll be able to install NDI, NDI runtime, and OBS NDI plugin and then the OBS software itself. All right. So if this video has um has really helped you, give a thumbs up, like the video, share the video, click on the notification bell to get notified of every content we put online. If you have not subscribed, to do well to subscribe. That is how you'll be able to I mean install OBS, OBS um plugin, and then the NDI runtime. Sorry, the OBS NDI and then the NDI runtime as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye.